So let's do the first hello world sequence, which is to transfer some hbar. Right, so let's open up the script transfer hbar, script transfer hbar.js. And you can see all the code here. I'm just going to go and run it. Um, cd transfer dash hbar dot slash script transfer hbar.js. And we can see that it's doing its thing. All right. So let's match the output to what's actually happening. This part here says starting the script, reading the .n file. Um, we read and from the .n file, we extract the values and then we uh, output the name and the operator ID. And then it also reads from the .n file to EVM addresses. So these are accounts that don't necessarily exist yet. And um, we will be transferring some HBAR to each of these accounts. We'll create um, something called a transfer transaction, which is what this does. And you'll notice something interesting here, right? Transferring from the operator account to two different accounts within a single transaction. You can see the debiting amount and two different crediting amounts. So this is different from the EVM because you have to do two. Uh, you can't. You can't. You can't do a transfer to multiple accounts not without doing a smart contract at least. Whereas in Hedera, a simple uh, native transfer transaction just does it out of the box. Okay. Then the next steps here are to essentially sign it using the private key. Then we submit it to the network and then we obtain the receipt of the transaction, extract the status from it. And we can see that that's a success. And we query what the new account balance is for one of them, which was one tiny H bar, which is the smallest unit. And the other one um, gets a, plank, a Planck's constant worth of H bar because that's what we've configured in our transaction. Um, so then we do a... Uh, we do we query the data of the new balance in a different way. So this time we uh, we use a mirror node API. So this is not using the SDK, but rather it is using a standard HTTP request on the mirror node to get the value of um, the balance, right, of the transaction. Sorry. <laughs> to get the transaction and it just passes the JSON value to obtain, you know, various amounts. And we'll see what this is in the next step, right? Which is to simply construct a Hashcan URL. Hashcan um, is the block explorer or the network explorer for Hedera. We we'll just paste that into a new tab and we can see over here a transaction with that ID was a crypto transfer, i.e. transferring HBAR and we can see over here that the operator account transferred to EVM address number one and number two, and these are the amounts. So we can see how that works. So let's take a look at this one, and we can see that this has an EVM address, which maps to the EVM address of the second one in the list over here. All right, and then we reach the end of the script. And we've done it successfully and we can see some summary metrics at the end, right? So we can see that we've completed a task. The task that we completed was to transfer HBAR. Um, it took us one minute and 49 seconds to, to do the whole thing, including the setup of the, the, the script, the prompting the script and creating the .n file. So this is something that I refer to as time to hello world. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty decent time. It doesn't include the Git pod spin up time, which is approximately up to 10 seconds. So, you know, all in, this took us about two minutes. And, you know, there was one completed task and no incomplete tasks. <coughs> um, this task itself, the, the script itself took eight seconds to complete. All right. And if you want to, you can actually take a look at the HCS metrics on Hashcan. So I'm just going to copy that and open it up in a new tab. All right. And we can see this 
six C four seven nine. That's an anonymously uh, well, an anonymous ID just randomly generated for us, and we can see here all of the ones that correspond to that particular ID. Right, we've done an init.env script. We've done an init.env again for RPC relay, and then we've done transfer hbar successfully. So we can um, we can come back to this a bit later. So that's just one script. There are four in total. 